Rizel Canedo targeted Filipino investors in a scam she pitched as helping fellow Filipinos. Typically, she would give a victim a pitch about how lucrative it is to bring Filipino nurses to the United States. Once uh, she gave the pitch, many of her potential victims would invest with her. Canedo sold promissory notes offering a return of up to 50 percent. Investors said they wanted to help fellow Filipinos come to America and create better lives for themselves. They tended to trust her because she was uh, another Filipino. Once investors realized they were not getting checks, Canedo went into hiding. The victims couldn't find her. They would uh, call her cell phone. And they would wait outside of her, of her apartment. She just disappeared off of the face of the earth. So inspectors started tracking the money. We do know that she was building a giant house in the Philippines and that some of the money was going to her relatives in the Philippines. Uh, one thing we are sure of, though, is it wasn't being used to bring nurses over to the United States. Inspectors eventually arrested Canedo, but said the impact on investors was heartbreaking. It really affected a lot of people's lives. A lot of people gave her their entire life savings. They were very angry that someone within their community would have violated their trust. Um, uh, so aside from the, the, the financial uh, impact it had on the victims, it also had a very strong emotional impact on them as well.